Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So uh, this module we are looking into details of unsteady flow in one dimension and uh, we are taking the shock tube problem and we had discussed in the previous class um, the uh, various flow features that are encountered in a shock tube. Uh, it starts with the initial condition that there are two sides to a, a shock tube, it is essentially a tube. Um, you have the high pressure side which is called the driver side and you have the low pressure side the driven side and at t equal to 0 the interface between do these two sides uh, is uh, suddenly ruptured or taken away. You have very high pressure uh, being interfaced to very low pressure gas or high pressure and low pressure this high pressure differential uh, essentially creates uh, a shock and the shock moves into the driven section you have other waves and flow features also in the shock tube a, an expansion fans uh, move towards uh, the driver section and uh, the region in between which is a um, interface between the driver gas and the uh, driven gas shock process driven gas uh, is the uh, contact uh, surface or contact discontinuity. Uh, the shock as it goes through the uh, driven section compresses uh, the gas as well as carries gas along with it, it produces mass motion. So our uh, uh, idea here is to look at this uh, complete problem and uh, solve various regions and then put them together to look at a shock tube as a whole. Okay. So, uh, the first part of this is the moving shock uh, that is already covered. So now let us uh, start moving into uh, the uh, left hand side of the shock tube that we have been looking at which is the waves. So uh, the expansion waves. So uh, expansion waves before we go there we start with simple waves, waves of uh, very very small uh, amplitude, waves of infinitesimal amplitude very uh, small amplitude and look at uh, the analysis of those uh, waves okay they are representative of uh, sound waves and uh, you can uh, soon we will show their uh, equations are contained uh, within the system of uh, flow equations uh, that we are uh, discussing so uh, this is the general equations of motion for uh, an invisible uh, adiabatic flow. So, uh, this is an invisible flow. So, viscous effects are not uh, considered, it is a compressible flow. So, uh, we have the compressible equation. So, do rho by do t uh, plus del dot rho v is equal to 0, this is continuity, and rho dv by dt is equal to minus uh, gradient of pressure del p, uh, this is uh, momentum. And uh, this, uh, these uh, movement of these waves are isentropic, so uh, S is, so uh, entropy does not change dS by dt equal to 0. So uh, consider a quiescent medium uh, where there is uh, no, initially there is no velocity and some small disturbance, small changes in uh, density or um, velocity or pressure uh, is introduced. Okay. So, delta rho and delta u small uh, very small changes in uh, density and uh, velocity are introduced. So, they are uh, small perturbations hmm. and uh, so uh, the undisturbed or the quiescent flow uh, medium has uh, rho infinity and u infinity p infinity and t infinity as properties and if you take a uh, quiescent medium uh, u infinity is this is equal to 
0 ok. So, uh, now what we are trying to do is to see how this uh, mm, these small changes uh, propagate uh, in the medium and we consider uh, only the one dimension. So, we are only considering one dimensional case here. So, let us write the equations for these small uh, perturbations. So, a rho the change in rho is a rho actually is rho infinity plus the small perturbation u is uh, u infinity plus delta u uh, which is since u infinity is 0 is basically delta u. Now, the guiding principles here is that uh, uh, we consider changes to be or uh, um, the terms in the equations to be significant uh, if you have um, significant terms uh, multiplications like dou delta u by dou x these terms are significant, but if you have multiplications of small quantities delta u multiplied by delta rho these are both are small quantities two small quantities multiplying each other they become very very small so they are taken to be zero ok. So, this is the guiding principle and uh, once you apply these principles to uh, the equations uh, then we can see how they get transformed to uh, the evolution equation for uh, delta rho or uh, delta u that is the small uh, perturbations. So, we take the continuity equation dou rho by dou t plus dou rho u by dou x. Uh, this uh, can be uh, written as using uh, principles of differentiation rho dou u by dou x plus u uh, dou rho by uh, dou x ok. So, now rho is rho plus delta rho and uh, u is dou delta u ok. So, we get these terms now this is directly by substituting uh, these values into the equation and uh, now we can use these principles. Uh, so, you see that uh, uh, there is a dou uh, delta rho here this term is significant uh, rho infinity is the quescent uh, medium's density this does not I mean this is uh, a constant. So, dou rho infinity by dou t is uh, 0 ok. Uh, so, um, you can use those principles here. So, now if you look at this a multiplication of delta rho with delta u uh, dou delta u by dou x is going to be extremely small. So, that is not significant and rho infinity multiplied by uh, dou delta u by dou delta x I mean dou u by delta u by dou x partial derivative is significant. So, using these guiding principles we can uh, write down this equation uh, in uh, terms of dou delta rho by dou delta t rho infinity dou delta u by dou delta x and this term is extremely small um, and you have uh, the other term delta u by this term is also extremely uh, small. Now, so this yields uh, basically dou delta rho by dou t plus rho infinity dou delta u by dou x equal to 0. This is what uh, this equation yields. Now, if you take the one dimensional momentum equation rho dou u by dou t uh, plus uh, rho u partial u by partial x equal to minus uh, dou p by dou x. Now, uh, this being an isentropic flow, so uh, pressure uh, can be related to density uh, by the term. So, p is a function of rho in general, you can write p is a function of rho and s. If so, dp is um, dou, dp, uh, dou p by dou rho at constant entropy d rho plus dou p by dou rho at constant density d s ok. So, here d s is 0. So, it is isentropic flow and this term dou p by dou rho at constant entropy this is nothing but speed of sound a square. So, this uh, term can be brought inside uh, the equations and uh, thereby dou p by dou x 
can be converted to a square d rho by dou rho by dou x that is partial rho by partial x. So, that is what is done here. So, it is been uh, converted to uh, the changes in density and uh, now uh, a square in general can be a variable. So, uh, but for the quiescent medium there is a speed of sound which is a infinity corresponding to the temperature t infinity you know a infinity is square root of gamma r t infinity. Now, if there are small changes uh, to pressure temperature density uh, correspondingly we would uh, expect small changes to a infinity uh, and uh, therefore, we need to consider them uh, into uh, the equations also. Okay. So, uh, now uh, you can write uh, considering uh, so now rho is again rho infinity plus delta rho u is delta u and uh, you can substitute them again follow the same guiding principles that such uh, delta rho delta u these terms are very small. Um, again these terms are very small this term is significant this term is small ok. So, and uh, this term is significant. So, there are two significant terms over there. Uh, now, uh, this is very weak waves infinitesimal amplitude very very small perturbations. Now, uh, a that is uh, a is again that is speed of sound is a thermodynamic quantity it can also be written as a function of density and uh, entropy. Now, entropy is constant so it becomes a function of density and uh, it can be expanded by a Taylor series kind of an expansion a square is a infinity square plus uh, dou a square by dou rho uh, rho minus uh, rho infinity. So, this is basically del delta rho and higher order terms which are very small. Now, this uh, term here can be uh, substituted for uh, a square in the momentum equation, uh, but again we find uh, once you carry on the multiplication you have uh, small quantity delta rho multiplied by another small quantity dou delta rho by dou, uh, dou x. So, they are again very small. So, finally, uh, the most significant terms of the momentum equation is minus a infinity square dou delta rho by dou x. So, you have two equations uh, the first one comes from continuity and the second one comes from momentum and these equations are now the equations for evolution of a, an extremely small uh, perturbation uh, in a quiescent medium and uh, that is typical of a uh, sound wave and can we get the equations of uh, sound wave from here uh, you can uh, do that you can just uh, um, so, if you uh, take a partial derivative with respect to time here for this equation and take partial derivative with respect to x here. So, you get dou square del rho by dou square t is equal to minus rho infinity dou square delta u by dou x dou t and uh, minus a square dou square delta rho by dou x square t square is equal to a rho infinity dou square delta u by dou x dou t and comparing these two equations you get dou square delta rho by dou t square is equal to a infinity square delta rho by dou x square uh, which is what is written here as uh, nothing but a wave equation. Wave equation where the speed of the wave is a infinity square uh, which is the speed of uh, sound waves in that particular medium. So, um, the solutions to these uh, equations in general 
uh, are of the form f uh, x minus a infinity t plus g capital G x plus a infinity t that is del, uh, delta rho the small change in density. You can get the same uh, equation the same uh, wave equation uh, for uh, the uh, change in velocity delta u and uh, these are given uh, taken to be small f and small z functions. This is the DLM solution to the wave equation. So, where uh, x minus a infinity t and x plus a infinity t uh, they represent uh, the directions of propagation of an initial disturbance. So, that is given over here you can see. Uh, so, this is the initial propagation ok. So, uh, they move in this uh, uh, direction. So, you can uh, write down these solutions this is uh, normal uh, I mean this is the wave equation that is linear and solved in uh, classes. So, now let us see how uh, the various quantities that is density and velocity they are uh, related to uh, each other as well as uh, changes in uh, pressure. So, uh, when you look at uh, them so if you say delta u uh, consider for a general case let g be equal to 0 that is the small uh, function uh, function with small letter g uh, equal to 0 then delta u is f of x minus a infinity t uh, dou delta u by dou x is f prime is a differential of f while dou delta u by uh, partial uh, t is minus a infinity f prime. So, from comparing these two we get um, dou delta u by dou, uh, dou, uh, dou x equal to minus 1 by a infinity dou delta u by uh, dou t ok. So, now uh, this can be combined along with uh, the continuity equation. So, uh, continuity equation is uh, dou delta u uh, dou delta rho by dou, dou t plus rho infinity dou delta u by uh, dou x. So, from the previous uh, equation you can write this as dou delta rho by dou t uh, minus uh, rho infinity by a infinity dou delta u by delta t. This can be taken together delta rho is rho infinity and a infinity are constants for this problem this is equal to 0 ok. So, uh, this implies that uh, this term here is a constant delta rho minus rho infinity by a infinity delta u is equal to constant. Mm, now, this constant can be evaluated by uh, taking the equation for the undisturbed gas and there uh, when you started off with uh, delta rho and delta u both were zeros. Hence, uh, at initial this is 0 therefore, it is constant. So, this constant is 0 and uh, so it relates delta u to delta rho that is change in density a infinity by rho infinity. So, this is the equation. So, uh, you can evaluate how much uh, change in velocity is produced by a small change in uh, density. Uh, now, uh, because this is motion of uh, sound delta p by delta rho is a infinity square small pressure perturbations. You can use that and relate change in velocity to uh, change in pressure. So, in general so we started off with uh, uh, the general equation delta u is f of x minus a infinity t plus g of x plus a infinity t and uh, we set g equal to 0, uh, we can also set f equal to 0 and get uh, 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 other forms of this equation. So, in general you will get delta u is plus or minus a infinity by rho infinity delta rho and delta u is equal to plus or minus uh, delta p by rho infinity a infinity. So, um, uh, these are very very small uh, changes. Uh, what we are talking about in this. So, this is infinitesimally small uh, and they uh, these are corresponding to sound waves. 
which is very small and uh, when pressure increases uh, density increases in the sound wave that is compression. So, that is the compression part of the sound wave and when uh, the pressure decreases uh, then that is called the rarefaction part of the sound wave. So, this uh, some of these things um, known to you, but now we we have seen that uh, these waves are also part of the uh, fluid dynamic equations that we have uh, for the, the general fluid flows and we saw how uh, waves fit in there and these waves are uh, extremely small um, in amplitude. Uh, now, we move on in the next class we will move to finite amplitude waves where waves now have significant uh, strength in their uh, pressure changes or density changes or velocity changes. Now, in this what you noticed was that you get uh, finally the wave equations. So, delta rho by delta t square is equal to A infinity square dou square delta rho by dou x square. This is a wave equation with A infinity uh, speed of sound that is a constant. Uh, so, this is uh, the case of infinitesimal waves when we go to finite waves we see that the speed of sound uh, at that uh, is not a constant anymore it can change from point to point uh, time to time. So, th that is going to be the additional complexity that comes into picture. In this uh, if there was an initial uh, wave form uh, it just propagates along these uh, lines, uh, these are uh, lines of propagation, they are also known as uh, characteristics and um, this methodology that is uh, the way they propagate along certain lines uh, known as characteristics will be very useful when we look at finite amplitude uh, waves. Here x minus a infinity t and x plus a infinity t represent two sets of uh, characteristics okay, along which uh, the uh, solution propagates. Uh, since a infinity is constant here these characteristics are uh, straight lines, uh, but when we go to finite waves we will see that that need not always be true. So, in the next class we will go to uh, finite amplitude waves.